on one thing, a gold medal at the Winter Olympics. They stunned the world at the last Winter Olympics and are on track for gold in Norway next year. They are world record holders and world champions. Here I am in Auckland with the world speed skating champions. I thought I'd take them on in a bit of a race and then maybe have a chat. I thought I might as well give it a go, but it's not as simple as it looks. The team will soon head to the United States for the Pacific Rim Champs at Lake Placid. All focus is, is directed toward the Olympic Games, and Lake Placid is a stopover on the way to the Olympics. If we qualify, it's, you know, it's a rim pack competition, and if we qualify, then we'll go to Canada again for the team's final. If we don't qualify, we really don't care. It's just preparation. It's, if, we, if we concentrate too much on that, it takes all the focus away from the Olympics, you know. So we'll just be going through the processes and what, sorting things out. So what happens if you go to Lake Placid and you don't win? Well, we're not we're looking well, for we're not. is to learn why, what we're doing well and what we're not doing well. So if we can get there and see that, say, our changes were bad, we can work on our changes for the next three weeks before the Olympics and fix it up. Um, it's just a test, really, a bit of a check to see what's going good, what's not going good. So we've still got time to fix it up. But this is one of the things we've done with the team is that winning is at the end. Let's worry about the processes first. Maybe we will win it, but we're not worried about it. This is how we went to the Worlds. We went to the Worlds roughly and time-wise 15th in the world. We come out with world title and world record. Being the reigning world champions, does that put a lot of pressure on you? Going into the 92 Olympics, the Australians were the world champions and they probably really felt the pressure, I think. Honestly, how do you rate your chances at the Olympics? Well, we have to rate it number one. We're going for gold. Sure. And we'd like the whole of New Zealand to get behind us to help us get gold, not win it before we've got it. Are the New Zealand public aware that we have a world speed skating champion team here in New Zealand? I feel that Christchurch has got a bit of profile in Auckland due to the fact that most of us have been from there in the past or pretty much are from there. But certainly in Auckland, it's, it's a different story. Does the lack of recognition annoy you? Not really. <laughs> We know we've well, you, you do get the support. Like when we're at, when we're at Alberville, we're really probably probably quite surprised at the number of faxes and that that came through from people and organisations that some school kids we'd never even heard of, and, and that and you know we'd get fax from like the Waikato Netball Association or something like that, <laughs> wishing us luck. And you know, so I think when we're actually there over at the Olympics, I think the support will roll in, and that's the main thing. Well, you're all a team now, but how do you find the training? Is it hard? At the moment, it's obviously fairly intense because, you know, we are aiming for that one peak of, you know, late February when the Olympics is. And uh, so at the moment, it's pretty intense and we know that we're peaking for that one date, which is an advantage we do have over a lot of countries is that there is, you know, basically no depth in the country. There's the five of us and there's a big hole down. So um, we know what the team is. We know when we have to be good. And that's, you know, February the 28th or whatever it is. And so we're going to peak on that date. And right now, it's pretty much intense training at the moment. So tell me, guys, wearing those tights or leotard, do you think that it's more attractive for the ladies? I reckon well, league players should start wearing them. Really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> might raise the ribbon quite a lot. Eight girls in New Zealand speed skating, so that sums it up pretty much. <laughs> it's better going and watching the girls that are wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it warms up the world champs. Well, I think I've had about enough. Blood and all, I'm going home. See ya. Those guys, excluding Toddy, actually hit over 40 kilometres per hour in the corners and pull one and a half Gs. That's mean, that means one and a half times their own weight on those bends. In other words, it's tough work. Now, for another very quick...